Hi, thank you for joining me. This is Zita, your luminary guide. How are you today? Thank you again. And uh, for those who don't know me, I'm a life coach and I specialize in uh, doing client readings with oracle cards and crystals. Um, there are a couple of the tools I use when I meet with my clients to help them in their spiritual journey and life paths. So today what I'll be doing is a daily healing with my oracle card deck, the oracle healing, crystal healing cards. And the card that pops, what I normally do is I shuffle the cards and I let a, dot, a card pop. And the card that popped was the Tanzanite, which is the card on the left. And this card is uh, representing a stone, a crystal that is used primarily to help us open up our third eye. So typically that's in the middle of our forehead between our two eyes. And that's directly linked to where our pineal gland is, which is our um, direct line to spirituality and praying to the universe, Mother Earth and God. So many of us have blocked pineal glands. So if you're using fluoride in your toothpaste, uh, I would suggest you consider changing that because that's something that's really, really bad for us. Um, also, if you can, try to drink as much spring water or filtered water as you can to remove any fluoride that they may be putting in the water that you drink. So with this stone, I think uh, we're going through a very important awakening here on Earth. A lot of us are being spiritually guided and looking within to feel um, that there's a new new way of being. There's, there's actually birthing, we're birthing a new earth. So this stone is signifying that it's gonna help you awaken your spirituality, your leadership capabilities, and also to looking inside and guiding yourself and connecting with uh, mother earth, God, um, your divine creator, and in opening up your pineal gland with this stone, you'll be able to communicate messages faster and um, more clearly. Uh, it's almost like a bit of a rebirth for you because you're going to be able to reconnect with yourself, your higher self and your soul. So this stone will give you some clarity on your next step in life. A lot of people are, are uh, confused as to their next steps, what they need to do. Um, times are turbulent. So it doesn't matter when you come to see this video, you were definitely spiritually guided to come see because there's a message for you. So perhaps you're in a difficult situation, a difficult relationship or having a hard time at work and um, you're not sure what to do or you're at school, you're not happy with the program and you're not sure about your next steps. So this card is gonna help you, give you some clarity. So you can be encouraged to perhaps meditate a little bit, close your eyes, breathe deeply, and try to focus on positivity, ask for guidance, ask for clarity, ask for direction and your life purpose. And remember, we don't only have one life purpose, we have many. Um, you may just be coming into a new journey, the next leg of your journey. So this way, you know, envision your new reality for the next three to five years, and not necessarily for 50 years, because as you grow and gain experience in life, you learn different lessons. Once you learn the lessons, new ones come in so you can grow spiritually and move beyond to a better version of yourself. So what this stone is asking you to do is help yourself to block, remove any blockages that is stopping you from moving forward. Perhaps it's time to let go of that toxic relationship. Uh, it could be anybody. It could be a friendship, a family member. It could be actually your current spouse and you're thinking of leaving them. Or it might be on the flip side now that you're realizing how good these people are and you can maybe appreciate them better because you're seeing them with better clarity. You maybe miss the things they were doing for you. And if you look at the, the, the sign on the right with the love, you see butterflies. And the colors of the stone are very deep purples and blues and translucent, just like the butterflies as well, blue, blue butterflies. And they represent change. Those who lo love passionately teach us how to live. So trust the process. The, the other card that was on the bottom of the deck was, is a stone a crystal called the Pren High Knight. And you're being encouraged to trust yourself, trust your wisdom, trust the universe, trust that you are on this earth for very divine purpose. Um, you are being asked to review where you are. You might be at a fork in a road. You'll be given some clarity. Go in a certain direction. Doesn't matter which way. Make a step. 
take that step forward, you'll know if it's right or wrong. And even if it's a small step, baby step, go in a new direction and see if the doors open up. See if those relationships become more loving. If they don't, then you know you're going the wrong way. You know you're probably at the wrong job. You know or will find out very slowly that the people that are in your life are not there anymore to help you grow. They were there for certain lessons in life and you've learned them hopefully to move forward. And you need to move forward with people who vibrate a similar lesson as you. So these two cards are here to encourage you to meditate, look forward to changes in your life, trust that you're, you have a divine purpose and to ask for guidance. And you will receive it in very subtle messages. You may have little butterflies flying, little angel cards coming in your way. It, you may even find pennies or coins on the street. You may find feathers guiding you in a certain direction, literally. So the earth is a school. Once we learn our lessons, we have new ones to learn. And that's how we grow and prosper. So I hope this message resonated with you. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me. My coordinates are in the description below. And it'd be my pleasure to meet with you and to help you in your journey. So with love and gratitude, thank you and hope to see you soon.